The following podcast may contain explicit language and offensive material. But guess what? The FCC can't do a damn thing about it. Welcome to the My Friend Lisa bonus episode number 13 with Lisa Graham and Dale Leopold. We'll be sharing a sketch from last year's Valentine's Day show, as well as sharing a musical number from our most recent episode, Red House Over Yonder. We now join this episode already in progress. Here we are. Yeah. Uh, I'm Dale. I'm Lisa. I have a cold. Uh, she has a cold. If you want me to audition for you, I have a cold, and I'm not going to do yeah, it and, uh, because I sound awful. And not only does mm. she think she sounds awful, but she thinks I sound like a Charlie Brown adult. Um, so if, if you don't get quite the same level of witty repartee, rep, repartee, repartee, right. exactly, that thing. Repartee. Repartee, I think. yes. Repartee. Then, um, but I wouldn't know. Because we're having trouble I said zinnias for years, and they're really Z- zinnias. Zinnias. So oh. who knew? Yeah, there we go. Personally, I like zinnia better still. Were you able to watch the uh, State of the Union last night? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, the look. No, I was not. Oh, dear listener, if you had seen the look she and gave me, it was more like. Yes, that's how. There, that is a thing that exists. You, State of the Union. Hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did, it takes a while to filter through the layers of cold medicine and mucus, which are you know right now swimming like circling packs of competing sharks. Mm. Um, and the thoughts are goldfish, yeah. just trying to stay alive. Mm-hmm. Um, but now you see my concern. Yes. For my upcoming apocalypse. I did not watch the State of the Union. Mm-hmm. I did not watch it. Yeah, that says something right there. That's right. Right. I'm fucked. Well, Joe, uh, Joe did a very nice job. He... I heard. If you if you uh, if you've ever seen some of the like dog training videos where they have techniques where they encourage the dogs to do bad things so that they can then be, you know, fooled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was pretty much kind of how it was. It was like, here, here's this bait. See this? Smell this? It's good, right? Right? Go for it. Oh, good. Help. By the way, <laughs> you just agreed not to cut social security. Good for you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> these people are fools they are not bright whatsoever they are no they are not right in their heads whatsoever (laughs) i don't understand i really don't i'm like why is he struggling to why why oh there's so many things you could point at and go hey nice one (laughs) hey nice one yeah hey nice one as I don't know. These people. These people are fools. Yep. Not our people. They're people. Yep. Yep. You know what I mean? Indeed. Indeed. Marjorie Taylor Greene dressing up like an, an evil dress-up doll version of Cruella de Vil. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know that was real fur. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Because she thinks that's how a lady dresses. <laughs> I am clutching my metaphorical pearls. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, it's all a shit show. It is. Well, for the next year and a half at least i think that's probably mm-hmm. the best we can hope for because <laughs> uh, ain't nothing going to pass in that congress um one way or the other so let's just hope for like a a sursan of entertainment yes so that we can then pass on to our listeners it's e- easy to do a french accent when you sound like this because it's very guttural and in your throat like mm-hmm. so, throat. Yeah. Oh. Bleu. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly Yes. Well, uh, it's a bonbon. Uh, <laughs> you're eating a bonbon, it looks like. No. I'm stress eating jelly beans. Jelly beans. Too, okay. So. <laughs> well, one thing I'll say is mm. <laughs> we are going to be releasing this episode on Valentine's Day or just slightly before. So why don't we listen to. Are we really? Yes. Last, week, uh, last year, around this time, we had a lovely sketch from Jack called Stupid Cupid. Let's have a listen, shall we? That's right. Guess what? It's Valentine's Day. Oh, oh no. 
You forgot again. And now the restaurants are booked solid, florists are cleaned out, and jewelry stores are closed. Uh, it's okay. Maybe she forgot too. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetie! Uh-oh. Sounds like you need Stupid Cupid, the service tailor-made for absent-minded spouses and partners. When a big day comes around and you're empty-handed, an excuse for the absent gift is only a phone call away. Did you forget? No, of course not. In fact, I, uh, I, uh, I booked us a romantic carriage ride through the park. <gasps> oh, really? Yep. Uh, just, uh, l let me just, uh, call to confirm. Call 1-800-436-7468. That's 1-800-I-FORGOT. And one of our associates will cancel your imaginary plans for a romantic evening with an explanation that's completely out of your control. Stupid Cupid, how can I save your relationship? Yes, I'm calling about the carriage ride I reserved for tonight. Got it, sir. You can go ahead and put me on speakerphone. Okay, great. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, our horses have come down with the horse flu, and I'm afraid all carriage rides are canceled. Uh, what? That's unacceptable. Uh, let me speak no, no, to no, your no, manager because... No, 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 honey, because... honey, it's okay. It's, it's not your fault. I just can't believe you came up with such a romantic Valentine's Day. I don't deserve you. Well, you know me. <laughs> Hi. I'm Dennis Mullins, CEO of Stupid Cupid. For years, I forgot Valentine's Day, anniversaries for all five of my ex-wives, and the births of several of my children. Of course, the answer to my problem was to lie, consistently and thoroughly. But when asked for evidence, my lies collapsed. I knew there had to be a better way. That's why I came up with Stupid Cupid. With Stupid Cupid, an unexpectedly canceled dinner reservation, a shipping error, or a sudden frost that decimated the local rose population is only a phone call away. I'm sorry, sir. Our store was robbed and all our diamond necklaces, including the one you ordered, were stolen. I don't believe it. Oh, my God, that's terrible. Oh, how could that... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, why didn't you just pick it up when you bought it? Oh, yeah, uh, why didn't I again? Oh, you were having it engraved. It was going to say, Happy Valentine's Day, Ashleg. My name's Ashley. Oh, sorry, it's a bad connection. Break the plans you forgot to make with Stupid Cupid. What a segue. I know. I'm getting good at this. Sort of. Good-ish. Good, good -ish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm transitioning. Like you're only good on Saturdays? Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yes, transitioning <laughs> from <laughs> bit to bit. And we'll get through this. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, Sorry, my jelly bean took up all of my attention all of a sudden, <laughs> as they will they do. do that. that happened to Reagan through much, pretty much through his second term. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, you're just like, oh, my. No arms for hostages. Rum, rum, rum. I, wait, wait, wait. Mm, oh. I don't have to deal with this jelly bean. Well, <sighs> my astrologer says it's um, okay. Yes? Oh, see, now you're doing Reagan mm -hmm. in Charlie Brown, and that is just... <laughs> It's a more genial wah, 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 but, but it, yeah. Oh, dear. What we have here. I know. I'm going to be reading some new books yeah. if I can stay, if I can live long enough. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Um, there's a, a book by a, one of Pulitzer Prize um, called Cuba. And it's about the American history of Cuba, and that looks really, really interesting. Oh. Or as JFK and called it, then, Cuber. Yes, or uh, Cuba, Cuba, depending on Cuba. how Cuba. one, where, whether, where one's silver spoon has, was placed <laughs> in one's mouth, um, it will affect one's pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm deeply sick. I'm Southern. And <laughs> oh, <I'm no>. just, <laughs> <laughs> I made soup. Yes. Is this a, yeah. an unusual thing? Well, no, but I made potato soup, which is what I make when I'm sick. Ah. Because we didn't make because my mother didn't make me chicken noodle soup. She made me tater soup. Mm. 
I know, and so um, I think I want some now. Um, <laughs> anywho. Hey, here's something you can do when you're sick, or maybe not. Uh, that my stepdaughter informed me that she has played now the Hogwarts history game thing. You know about this, of course. Mm. Legacy, Legacy, right? yes. And she, let me just say, if you haven't done it yet, apparently you will be in some kind of nirvana as you wander through the halls. Really? Well, yes. then maybe I will look for that. Yeah. And then the, I won't have to play Fortnite. Mm-hmm. Mm, right. The boys want me to do that, and I don't want to do that. Yeah. Cool. I'll, all I know about it is that for months and months and months and months, I kept getting auditions for that game, and they kept saying authentic British accents, and I would go, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's uh, not me. No, they kind of... When you say authentic, yeah. what is it exactly? No, it's not me. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, so. Yes, good enough. We we can do it good enough to p- fool American audiences, but not so much the British audience. Yeah, which I've learned. Mm-mm. I've impressed Ow. a British director, but I still didn't get the part. But anyway. No, I have. <laughs> you impress him in the way a poodle doing a backflip is impressive. Yes, you. Oh, nice. I didn't expect that actually. No, no. Right, not going to hire you for the entertainment. He actually used the words. Nice accent, which I will have chiseled on my gravestone. I do believe you should. Mm. I don't know. Mine is, I'm, I'm exploring all sorts of accents through my continued pursuit of the uh, Midsummer Murders mm-hmm. prize. Yes. For watching all eighty bazillion episodes. <laughs> Good. Yes. So, it's fun. I'm learning a lot. Mm-hmm. Brits are very keen on ways to kill people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and there's usually a gardener in there somewhere. So, that, and and I mean, like, um, have you seen oh. the the new Natasha Leone thing on Peacock? That's the uh, poker face. Not yet. I haven't seen. I don't. I have not even look. Yeah. New things. I have not seen new. Yeah, things. it's kind of like she plays Columbo, sort of, except she's on the run from the uh, Las Vegas mob mm. <laughs> boss. But in the meantime, she's solving okay. murders, and you get all kinds of people like. Chloe Savigny, 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 nice. Uh, playing uh, playing a sort of a, a '90s rock star who's still trying to hang on to her career, and would even kill to do so. Mm. There are so few of those. <laughs> what a stretch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyway, lots uh, of fun. Cool. I well, I'll get to it in a decade or so mm-hmm. uh, when it is thoroughly played out and everyone has already seen it. <laughs> Just like we're watching Stranger Things and Breaking Bad. Yeah. Jay is alternating. That's his lunch show. He's alternating a season at a time. Oh, my. And I don't want to watch Breaking Bad because it's just sad and violent and ugly. (laughs) Oh, but it's... I don't... Yeah. I know, but it's just unrelenting. (coughs) Guess what? What? (coughs) I also quit smoking. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> yeah. it's like, uh, I know. Now your lungs are like... This is my first... Actually, you can tell. This is my first cold without cigarettes. Mm-hmm. And, um... Oh, I would be much more pathetic by now. And mm. Seriously, that coughing thing... Mm-hmm. You'd have had to go, Are you sure we shouldn't take a break? Yeah, or call an ambulance. While I lay on the floor. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Goodness. So, it's actually um, it's pretty mir- pretty fucking miraculous. Uh, so, that I have that to say. I'm just looking for a new bottle of Singer's throat spray. Yeah. That's not cool. Because my throat is unwell from this cold. Yes, honey lemon, least ass tasting of them all. It's a fast acting sur- herbal supplement. Yes. I've used it. It's really great. Yeah, I've used it. I've used it. It it works like a fucking charm, but when you're down to the bare ass ends of the bottle and it's old, it does not work like a charm. It's just a weird gooey taste. So Yeah. yeah. She's shaking a bottle right here. Once again I'm endorsing Singer's 
Mine now says lemon and honey soothing throat spray as opposed to honey and lemon. I don't know. Maybe I have the European version yeah, or the American yeah. version or Chinese version. I think it's got that. That's the one that has cocaine in it. Sprayed and refreshed. <laughs> I don't. I haven't had to use my um, little tricks like the sprays and the spritzes and all of that and the steaming and. But my throat has had enough. Yes. I know. Lurking out there, a certain cast member's wife is just burning to send me some e-learning. I just know it. Oh, yes? And I'm hoping it's not today. Mm. Oh, yeah, no, no. It's like if, <laughs> so. if you're doing a character, that's one thing. You know, you can kind of, I don't know, summon up the, ah, the hell with it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to act. But if you're doing... What safety steps are important in an enclosed space and what notices should be uh, posted? Yeah, you know. Let's talk about power plants. Yes, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I mean, I can actually I can get there, mm -hmm. um, but I can't stay as long, she said. <laughs> um, because it's, I, and I discovered something whilst doing some of this last week. Yes. Uh, and I haven't done a lot of long form e learning in a while. Mm hmm. That um, if I, after about ten minutes, the resonance in my voice, yeah, the vibrations that give it that depth and warmth and harmony and all of that good stuff, mm -hmm. they vibrate my left nostril. Cause a sneak. Just that, or this, this one. Is it left or right? I don't know, but just right around the edge of my nostril begins to tingle, and then. I can feel nothing else, think about nothing else. <laughs> it's just... Yeah. It's, yeah. And it, it, it won't stop until I've had a long rest. Well, I think, <laughs> honestly, I think voiceover is sort of, uh, if, if this was all like divinely, if we were divinely designed, it's, it's God's way of telling us that we need to uh, unplug our noses. Because every little, whatever you have in your nose, in nasal passage, your uh, sinus, is going to show up in your in your voiceover track yeah and you end up having to clean up a lot i've just never had my nose tickle it tickles mm -hmm. it just vibrates I, like my voice is vibrating one nostril <laughs> at a time <laughs> it, that and the x-files theme thing that jake is doing right now playing that he's just setting it, it just plays from every you know who in the house uh -huh. at random times and i'm getting <laughs> I'm getting the shakes. <laughs> <laughs> the, the truth is out there. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even a fan. I don't uh -huh. think I was. I think I might have been in the Caribbean for that. Yeah. But I know what that music means. Right. I watched you know? a little. I, I, I never got Shit's into it. Shit's going down. Yeah, yeah. Which, which is weird. I so, mean, it probably is the kind of show that would appeal to me if I went back it's and right watched it. right up our but, alley. Yeah. We should yeah, like I it. Should. But no. Um, and Jillian Anderson Just is uh, fantastic in pretty much everything she does. Yes. Yes. But David Duchovny is a weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's an odd little ducky is what he is. <laughs> quack, quack. Well, they are out there. Um, yes. There are some people who, who thought it was that Bonnie Raitt was an unknown blues singer, apparently. There was shock that she won Song of the Year for, for writing a song. By herself, without 14 producers and beat masters and everything else. So weird. Yeah, yeah. You know that gray streak in her mm -hmm. hair? That's from your stupid shit. Yes. Yes, she... Underestimate her. Go yeah, ahead. Knew, That's fun. I knew about her in the 70s. I actually saw her for free in the 70s while I was an extra in the mm -hmm. movie Hair. Huh. There was an ad in the college newspaper, the Diamondback. Come in your best 60s-ish gear down to the Lincoln Memorial. So we did. Uh, complete with the, mm -hmm. um, my roommate had, uh, had a Peace Love Dove guitar strap, and he wore that around his head as a headband. And uh, Twyla Tharp was there as the choreographer, Milos Foreman, the director. They were doing these scenes with mm -hmm. um, dancers in uniform with guns and doing whatever, all choreographed by Twyla. And then in between camera setups, which took a long time back in the day of film mm -hmm. movies, <laughs> you know, where they had to... Mm -hmm. Do all kinds of resetting this and that. First, you had yeah. to kill the triceratops yeah. right. to get through exactly. to where the cameras were even stored. And then you had to move film. So they very nicely provided free entertainment, uh, musical acts between these setups. And one of them was 
Bonnie Raitt. And so we saw her for free. And we knew about her because she'd been on local, there was a local radio station in D.C. that was very hip. Mm -hmm. But it was, uh, it was cool. It was interesting. Uh, what an experience. Huh. I don't think I ended up in the actual movie, uh, which I have on DVD. And I've like, you know, frame by frame looked, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 right. no, no, no don't see myself. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Entirely too much effort to put into something like oh, that. Oh, it is. It is. Total, but I mean, wouldn't it be that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Hey, I was there. It was fun. Yeah, but do, do I want to know? Do I care that much? Uh, <laughs> Groovy. I don't know. Yeah. Um, ha! Yes? Sorry. <laughs> Tiny little sugar buzz from the jelly beans. Ah, okay. Just kicked in, huh? Mm -hmm. Good. That's how I'm operating <laughs> right now. <laughs> from I, I, the sugar kicks in and I go and and run around like a like a hummingbird and then it stops and I either eat more sugar or collapse. I'm getting concerned that this bonus episode is going to be viewed as like cruel and unusual punishment of a voice actor. <laughs> it might be. It might be. You don't know. I don't know. But I don't know anything. I know that my head is filled with mucus. And that I like Stranger Things. That was the point of bringing up that he's watching Breaking Bad and alternating into Stranger oh, yeah. Things. And the, the weeks that he's watching a Stranger Things season, I like that. But then he distracts me and I get, I start watching. So I am seeing bits and pieces of Stranger Things and I find it delightful. Oh, yeah. And terrifying. Oh, if you're an 80s kid, I mean, it's a, that, that blend of oh, yeah. Stephen King and um, Spielberg and, and every, uh, yeah. And the hair. Mm -hmm. The hair. And then, I mean, I just got to the episode where, um, I don't know his name, the one who had no teeth and now does. He's an Italian actor. Does that just kind of tweak your head? He actually, yeah. So he really sounds, it sounds like a these. <laughs> um, <laughs> in his native tongue. Um, but I was terrible that was Transylvania, but I'm sick and I have an excuse. Mm -hmm. But in the, the, the dance scene where they did the little dance at school and he put his hair back and he looked like Ducky. It was such a ducky moment. Wait, wait. Who's who's ducky? And then the nice girl danced with him to make him popular. Yeah. That was a solid. I mean, she did him such a solid. Wait, wait. Who who is ducky? Yes. From Pretty in Pink. Well, who is ducky? Uh, this is, okay, this is when you're a boomer. Okay. That's that was a boomer thing to I say. I did see that movie, but I can't remember that much of it. What? No. I like John Hughes, but yeah, you know, Molly Ringwald. Oh, all of his movies now are a little, you're like, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, a little inappropriate. Hmm, but, that's a little rapey, Mr. Hughes. Yeah, uh, but he was very funny. But no, Pretty in Pink is... Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. She's having a moment. <laughs> I'm verklempt. Verklempt, indeed, indeed. I'm union, you know, you can't do this to me. That's right. You need a, a smoke break? No, just a... Lunch break. There, there is no. I don't need a smoke break. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do it? Because I conferences and stuff. I have, I have switched. I just jumped over to those little um, flavored nicotine pods, mm. which are fucking delicious <laughs> and should be illegal mm. to everyone but me, <laughs> because they are fucking delicious. Uh -huh. Oh my God, if I had known. And it's and so I get my nicotine and my dopamine that goes along hand in hand, mm -hmm. merrily skipping through my neurons. Mm -hmm. Whee! <laughs> and I don't get the tar and the smoke or any of that. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's smoking without all the icky parts. And I smell good. And they taste so good. And there's stuff like strawberry banana. Watermelon bubble gum. Mm. They are definitely meant to attract children. They are brightly colored and cute and adorable, and I love them. <laughs> danger, danger, Will Robinson. I know. Well, I seriously keep mine under lock and key. I just remember, like, at the last WovoCon, stepping outside with you during a smoke break and pretty much writing an episode of BS to Resistance, I believe. It was, you know, so. Well, that, yeah, but I can still go out there. You can go out there. That's true. I don't care. I don't want a cigarette. <laughs> I am so perfectly happy with these things. I thank you very much, modern science. Mm. This is I. I mean, dude, I never thought I'd be able to just walk away, and I can walk away. 
Nice. And when Randall's here, he smokes and he stinks. I can smell it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All of a sudden. Smell it all now. Yes, yeah, all of a sudden. I can smell it all. Mm-hmm. I don't cough except for when I have a horrible cold and my writing partner makes me do an episode for bonusing. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> but sorry. other than that. Yes. Seriously. Yeah. I'm very excited about them. But you should not let your children near them. I will keep that in mind. No. And economical, let me just tell you. Pack and a half a day smoker for years. That meant in recent years that every other day I would pay $21 for cigarettes, mm-hmm. which I would then set on fire and suck into my body like the moron <laughs> that I am. Now I can pay $16, $17 or two for 30 mm. And these things go at least two weeks on their each one. Nice. At least. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I haven't had one run empty yet. Granted, I have bought many, many flavors in an exuberant <laughs> fit of joy <laughs> to see which ones I like best. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know how full or empty so, these, any of these are at any given moment? I have a rather like a life supply <laughs> okay. of them right now. Right. Um, but still, I tried exclusively on just one, and I went more than two weeks, and it still wasn't empty. Mm -hmm. But I was tired of strawberry banana. Yeah. No, it wasn't strawberry banana. It was Mexican popsicles, watermelon, honeydew, and cantaloupe. Interesting. Yeah. Well, speaking of exciting Mm. things that people can spend money on, uh, we are going to have an album out uh, in the very near future. Chris is, is getting his new studio together. He had to disassemble it in Texas and try to assemble it in Ohio and... He's, that's sort of mid-process at the moment. And uh, yes, Cleveland Rock. this will be the first Suffolk and Good Players album. Um, working title right now is Suffolk and Funny. Um, but <laughs> we'll see. Well, that may change. I sense a pattern. Do, I sense a pattern developing. Yes, yes. So, dear listeners, if you have a better Halloween suggestion. Album, so fucking scary. Yes, yeah, exactly. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so fucking Christmas. <laughs> ho, so fucking ho. So fucking ho. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm excited for all of that. Indeed. And, our, of course, our most recent episode, we had the fabulous uh, Hakeem Jeffries guesting on the show, whether unbeknownst to him. And uh, <laughs> Really a pleasure to work with. Yes, I know. So kind really. and, and humble. Indeed. About his gifts. Indeed. Really. I just... Down to earth. Gifted orator. He has my vote. Yes. He has Kermit the Frog's uh-huh. vote as well. So, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. We spliced and diced, but it's awesome, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, Krista, an it? amazing job. Yeah, I, I had the idea. Please keep spreading that Chris around, friends. did a brilliant job putting it all together, as usual. Hi, old Kermit the Frog here. Remember how we used to teach kids that one of these things is not like the other? Well, it turns out it's also true for grown-up political parties. And we want to make sure everyone knows which side we agree with. Here's my friend Hakeem to literally spell it out for you. We will always put... American values over autocracy. Benevolence over bigotry. The Constitution over the cult. Democracy over demagogues. Economic opportunity over extremism. Freedom over fascism. Governing over gaslighting, hopefulness over hatred, inclusion over isolation. ABC, it's all about democracy. ABC, exposing the GOP, yeah! Justice over judicial overreach, knowledge over kangaroo courts, liberty over limitation, maturity over Mar-a-Lago, normalcy over negativity. Opportunity over obstruction. People over politics. Quality of life issues over QAnon. ABC, it's all about democracy. ABC, exposing the GOP. Reason over racism. Substance over slander. Triumph over tyranny. Understanding over ugliness. Voting rights over voter suppression. Working families over the well-connected. Xenial over xenophobia. In case you were wondering 
what it means to be zenial. It means that to your guest you are more congenial. Like the Statue of Liberty promised we'd be. Come on, everyone, and sing with me. Yay! A, B, C, it's all about democracy. A, B, C, exposing the G-O-P. Yes, we can, but you can't do it. Come on, join along. There's nothing to it. And zealous representation over zero-sum confrontation. A, B, C, it's all about democracy. A, B, C, exposing the G-O-P. Everybody. A, B, C, it's all about democracy. A, B, C, exposing the G-O-P. It's all about democracy and cookie. ABC exposing the GOP. ABC is all about democracy. ABC exposing the GOP. We made Madeline very happy. Yes. She felt like a celebrity at her office oh, all day long. That's right. She mentioned, yes. Mm -hmm. We drank a toast to her, even. Fantastic. Yes. And then I don't know how, because I'm sure the show was in her earbuds. So um, <laughs> she was only a celebrity in her head but and her office. That's what counts. So. That's what counts. I know. I know. I know. Now she's cackling in her head, and the office is looking at her funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Madeline. <laughs> hey, Madeline. Yes, we're so glad you're a fan. And um, mm -hmm. spread the word. Next time Dale comes to visit, I'll introduce you guys. Oh, yeah. We can go to the beach. I would love to go down. Mm -hmm. Go down to uh, mm -hmm. Galveston um, when you guys aren't mm -hmm. freezing your tails off. Oh, with the house thing? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, how is, how is that going now? Dale, <laughs> I am not going to lie to you. I am. I have the fanciest bathrooms I have ever seen in my life. The tile work is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. They have no fixtures. I can't use them. <laughs> there's no electricity or lights. Pretty to look at. Well, though. there's electricity, but it's not attached to anything or turned on. Mm -hmm. And there's a drain? Oh, yeah. They mm -hmm. are beautiful. 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 I long. I look forward to the day when I will actually be able to use them. Jay is putting a toilet in the one downstairs right now. Hmm. The one downstairs, because this makes right now, I have one bathroom. <coughs> We've always had the one bathroom. Mm -hmm. And the whole reason we started this project was because we needed to replace that bathroom, because that bathroom had been leaking for many, many years, the shower. And so it was just one big lunch away from someone crashing through it. Um, <laughs> right. That, it's that bad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and now I have three new ones, and of the four entire bathrooms in my house, I can't. None of them are, are really in tip-top working order yet. Mm -hmm. None of them. Are we but, still um, the sleeping down, in the kitchen? Yes, we are. Okay. Why? Why do you ask? Just you know, just check. People don't do that. I don't know why mm -hmm. people should. It's, it's really nice for the it's midnight snack. It's convenient. Yeah. It's close to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Many of the bathrooms, actually. Right. <laughs> Not that it matters. There's also a porta potty in the backyard. Mm. Mm hmm. Um. But uh, the one downstairs, the tile guy finished. Kenneth, he's so nice too. Hi, Kenneth. I hope you re I remember to tell you to listen. I don't know if I did. Okay. Um. Hey, Kenneth. He's from Costa Rica. Ah, my anyway, favorite country. Kenneth. That's, I know. That's what I said. It's a lovely place. But um, we Put we didn't. Uh, Sorry do it on purpose mm -hmm. but downstairs the bathroom is cowboys dallas cowboys colors <laughs> so much so that it looks like the dallas cowboys cheerleaders locker room spa does this make uh, your i mean if Jay there very were happy. a star he claims that he didn't know that and I helped pick out the tile, and I didn't do that on purpose, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. But he um, he does look, yes, yeah, smug. Smug is the word. <laughs> okay. He's very pleased with himself. Indeed. With his cowboy shower. So, All there right. we go. There we go. I know. All right, well. And my bathtub, someday, I have sat in my bathtub now, but I have not had water in it yet. You can't do that. But you can sit in it and go, wow, this is going to be great. Mm-hmm. So, 
uh, we like I said, we're putting this out on the 14th, and then two weeks after that, which would make it like the 28th, I guess, still February. So uh-huh. Sounds and mathy. We will have another episode, which means we need, we need to start writing it like yesterday, but that's okay. We'll get it up there. Yes, you are very, very much in a hurry for being as early as we are. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> Dale's in deadline mode. You know we're doing this tomorrow, right? Right, right, yes. <laughs> Let's start writing. Oh, my God, what if we don't have enough sketches? Yeah. We don't have enough, uh, Jack. Jack? <laughs> Save us, Jack. Jack is uh, probably in the midst of still the writing. Machine. A, there's a Some show, machine. actually, next weekend? No, the, uh, a week from Sunday, I guess, uh, in Richmond, the, uh, the uh, mm. Firehouse Radio Players, um, which we've been doing for years. Uh, which Jack writes all of that, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, we should so, do a song for Jack. A song a for song Jack. A song about Jack. We like Jack. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What's not to like? Yeah. He's very likable. I know. So he is. You are. <laughs> it's full of compliments. It's the it's the uh, medicine talking. I see. I see. And Laurie too. Or other, the, mm, the, the other member of our writing too. team. Yes, she's done some amazing stuff. Also very funny. It's much nicer to do this with a team. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, the, <laughs> we can feel the excitement out there, folks. Sorry, she's she's it's more uh, jelly beans. Oh, it was a jelly bean. Mm-hmm. Was I supposed to respond? <laughs> I really. did. I said no, it's much did. nice. Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. We'll contain our... me on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, why don't we give you a break here? Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, the shit of half. Ah. Go, go have a lot. Go have a lie down. You know. I think I will. Practice I'm your, not that stage your authentic in life. British all I can accent. Do is say far. <laughs> far. It's a tough life, isn't it? That's a rough life, yes. Mm. Far. <laughs> now, well, have you gotten to where you make noises every time you like bend over or get up or out of, just get up out of a chair? <clears throat> no, no, that, no, I'm not that, old. I mean, I'm that, old, but I'm not decrepit. That will I'm come just soon. Sick. <laughs> okay. Well, Far. Well, rest up those those uh, those golden vocal cords and uh, protect your instrument. Your instrument, yes, indeed, indeed. And uh, we will make brilliant, funny music. Sorry, I'm, why am I going into Italian? I don't either. I think you're talking about the... It's a dreadfully... Less... Yeah, the whole thing is just cattywampus. Everything's fucking chaos. People, we don't know. Yep, yep. We don't know. And that's it's chaos inside this house, inside this studio, at Dale's place. Chaos. Mm-hmm. And it's in the, the world chaos. in general. We don't know. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so, um, hey, thanks for hanging with us. Yeah. For sure. We'll be back in two weeks with a scripted episode. More funny stuff. our latest musings and shit. And a song, probably. So, yeah. Probably a song yeah. about Jack and Lori. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or bacon. <laughs> I mean, it could be about anything, really. I don't know. Yeah. One of the above. Yeah, maybe I'll write songs this month while you go. I'm all fizzed out on cold medicine. There you go. Ode to throat spray. Ode to... <laughs> oh, I have a song for NyQuil. But that's just because of our deep and abiding love. <laughs> the green death flavored thing that you are. <laughs> oh, NyQuil. I remember, did you ever use Vicks VapoRub back in the day? Is that still, mm-hmm. do they still sell that? I guess they do, don't they? Yeah, Jay still believes in that. We have some of that yeah. in the house. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you have to be very, very careful with Vicks VapoRub. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very careful. Use, <laughs> use as directed only, yes. Right. Don't touch anything else. Yeah. <laughs> but no, no. <laughs> all righty then. Not good. All right then. On that note. We will see you all in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>